Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at the magic of grouping worksheets in Excel. So why would you want to group worksheets? Well, by grouping worksheets, you can make the same change to multiple sheets at the same time. And in this video, I have six worksheets, very similar worksheets with different values, but a very similar setup. And these already exist. So there's no point trying to copy a worksheet to speed up my productivity. They're already there with the values in place. Maybe they've been exported from some kind of system or something. But I need to make the same change. I've got a couple of examples in this video to go through. First of all, I want to make a simple formatting change to the headers on each sheet. And then I'm going to write a formula, just a simple sum function in column eight of these sheets. So let's go ahead and do this. I need to select the sheets first. Let's right mouse click a sheet tab and choose select all sheets. And now all the sheets are selected. And if I was to look up to the title bar of this Excel window, you can see the word group after the file name up there. So the file name is group sheets. And then it mentions group in these square brackets. So I know that I have grouped sheets of this file. I'm constantly reminded of that as I use the file. With them now grouped, I can highlight the headers and do a very simple, as a demonstration, fill color change. And I'm going to click into cell B8 and just do a simple little sum function in here. Let me change it up here and copy that across. Across it goes. And now to ungroup my sheets, if I right mouse click a sheet tab and ungroup sheets, if I explore some of the others, you can see that they all have the green headers and it all have now those formulas in the total columns, which they did not have before. Now I can also select specific sheets for a change. So let's say I wanted to click on my Portsmouth sheet, hold down the control key on my keyboard and maybe select Hull and maybe Sheffield. And maybe these three sheets, these three like retail stores, maybe there is a relationship of some kind between them. And I may want to indicate that by making a change to the tab color. So I can make a simple little change, a little bit of blue shading. I can maybe do a similar thing to the other three. So by holding down the control key, once again at the top, you can see it telling me that I have sheets in a group. I'm always reminded of that in case I was to forget. If you have many sheets, it may not be that obvious to notice. A little bit of orange on that one. This is just a demonstration. Please don't read too much into my colouring. <laughs> but now by making that change, and you can click any sheet tab that's not in the group to come out of that. And here we go. I've managed to change three sheets at the same time and the other three at the same time. Uh, just a simple tab color change, but it could easily have been a formula or some kind of change on the worksheet. So grouping sheets is a fantastic little skill. You know, it's not a mind blowing feature like pivot tables and VLOOKUPs maybe, but it's just a simple technique that can save lots of time, but also improve the consistency and accuracy of your spreadsheets which must always be looked at first and foremost. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.